I was going through some of my files this last week and I figured once I found one of them in particular, I too would hop on the anti-atheism bandwagon. I think it's a good point to make, so I'm going to do my best to make it. And it's the atheist's problem with intelligence. It's a eight-point discussion over this issue. First, if atheism is true, then organic evolution must be true. If organic evolution is true, then naturalism must be true. If naturalism is true, then everything must be re the result of purely natural processes or forces. If everything is the result of purely natural processes or forces, then thought must be purely the result of biochemical processes or forces. If thought is purely the result of biochemical processes or forces, then genuine free will does not exist but is an illusion. If genuine free will does not exist but is an illusion, then intelligence itself is simply a perception of illusion. If intelligence is merely a perception of illusion, then there is no real objective reason for one to be an atheist over anything else. If there is no real objective reason for one to be an atheist as to be anything else, then it is absurd for atheists to speak of themselves as more intelligent than even the most obvious imbecile. Atheism thus implies there is realistically no objective reason why the man who wets his finger and sticks it in a light socket is any dumber than the most brilliant of atheists. It is all simply an illusion, according to the atheists, that causes us to conclude otherwise. Thus, atheism is intellectually self-defeating. Now, this falls in line very well with what we find in Psalm 14, verse 1. That says, the fool hath said in his heart that there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Atheism is foolish. By its very own claims, it attacks the reason that is supposedly used to come to the conclusion that no God exists. Because thought would be random caused by random particles randomly hitting each other inside your brain. But we know better than that. The fool hath said that there is no God. Now in Isaiah chapter 1, verses 15 through 20, we have an eternal mind from which all things come, laws included, which says... And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Pausing here. <laughs> With atheism, you don't know the difference between the two. And you cannot know the difference between the two. You have to apply, you have to appeal to some higher moral standard than yourself. The atheist simply cannot do that. But we have reason. We have the eternal mind whom we call Jehovah God. And he's speaking to us through these verses, through his written will. 
Picking up now in verse 17. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, that shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. We are given many promises by our Father that are found in Jesus Christ. Those many blessings. One of those great blessings is salvation from our sins. We have to individually obey His gospel. In the next few moments, if you need to obey that gospel, why not render obedience to it? Ultimately being baptized for the mission of your sins. As we sang moments ago in the, the child singing portion of this service, Arise, arise, be baptized, wash away, or washing away thy sins. Or if you are a child of God, and you've allowed sin to creep into your life, why not be restored as a faithful child of God today? I don't see any reason to drag this out, so if you need to obey the gospel or to be restored, please make that happen as together we stand and sing.